For the past sort of two weeks at least, he's had this really chesty cough. He's literally just had a cold and his cough has turned really, really chesty. She's got a chesty cold, but she's not well, she's not sleeping, she's waking up. He's been coughing yeah. an awful lot. OK. And it's just tiring him out. And this morning, he just sounded particularly mm -hmm. crackly. It's not got any better. Coughing at any particular time? So all throughout the day. Yeah. And at night? Yes. Yeah. Where's your doggy? <coughs> Tia, please. Yes. Tia. Come on. Here we go. Hello. Hello. I'm Dr. Jewel. Uh, Dr. Jewel. This is Tia. She's got a bit of a funny chest. So I just want to check it out. Really. Okay. She's been coughing now for over a week, but we've been away, so uh, that's why I haven't brought her down before. Where have you been? Um, Isla White. Oh, what was it like? Lovely hot weather. Absolutely lovely, wasn't it? Apart from coughing, has she been all right? Yeah, she's had a bit of a runny nose a bit. But her chest, when she's asleep, she's breathing really like <gasps> like that kind of thing. And then in the morning as well, she's really trying to catch her breath. But then throughout the day, she's all right like this. But it's active. Just, yeah. Obviously very active. <coughs> Eating all right, playing. Yeah. yeah. Right, let's. She's got a bit of wheezing on this side. It makes life a little bit difficult. Well, it doesn't really. It, it, it suggests what we should might do about it. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's OK. We all worry about children because we know they can get ill very quickly. Now, the ones we worry about are the ones who are very floppy or pale or not responsive. If they haven't eaten for a while, they've stopped playing, those sort of things. And although we ask questions about it, it's a kind of judgment you make just the moment you see a child. And you make the judgment almost as soon as the child comes in. Is there asthma in the family? No, I have it slightly, and my husband does as well, and my son. So do you have lots of inhalers and equipment and stuff in the house? Yes, we do. And you know how to use them? This <laughs> yes. is great. This is fantastic news. Yes. I'm sure no. it's not a chest infection. She's much too well for that. Yes, yeah, right, then. <laughs> I can hear the wheezing. And, as you probably know, people who have asthma, it's worse at night often. Yeah. Now, you can't diagnose asthma in a child of this age. But she has got some wheezing, and I think the sensible thing is to treat that. OK. And if you're very familiar with inhalers and things, we could do it that way. Are you happy with that? Yeah, that's fine, yeah. Now, do you use spaces? Yes, I do. I haven't... There's nothing I need to teach you. It's wonderful. <laughs> Will she tolerate having the mask over her head? Never know until you try. Right, can I pop you up? We can go. Now, you know also, if you're treating somebody with, with, with wheezing and they're getting worse, that's an emergency. OK. You know that? Yes. I thought you would. <laughs> you're, being, you're being very kind to me, instead of pretending, half pretending, you don't really know this stuff. Tell no, me. No, here's the, I do here's the, here's the critical question. Yeah. Had you decided, when you were sitting out there, that what you needed was to go out with this before you even saw me? No! <laughs> <laughs> you didn't. Oh, well, it's very, very decent of you to say no. that. No. Thank you. Good. Right, I hope it does the trick. Good. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Right. Come on. Come on.